Hello everyone and welcome to the Survivor Radio Network, your weekly nerd news. If you like this video, give us a like, consider subscribing, and join us on Discord. Everything we talk about this week will be linked below. Let's jump into it. Faria. In this combination of card battle game and board game, Faria makes its way to PS4 this week. Featuring PvP and co-op content and a dynamic living board, Faria can now be found on all major platforms with cross-play capabilities. Pick up Faria on PS4 on November 3rd. Jurassic World Evolution This dino-themed park management game comes to Switch with all the previously released DLC included. Entertain your guests with over 60 dinosaurs, but be careful not to let any escape. Jurassic World Evolution parks its way onto Switch November 3rd. Yester Morrow. This time-bending 2D platformer arrives on multiple systems this week, featuring a mix of action and puzzle solving across multiple timelines and varied environments. Will Yui be able to save her family from the shadows in a never-ending night? Yester Morrow launches on November 5th on PS4, Xbox One, Switch, and PC. Dirt 5. The latest installment in the Dirt franchise brings a ton of new features and next-gen capabilities to the off-road racer. Dirt 5 offers vehicles of all types, dynamic environments, dozens of tracks, campaign, split-screen, and online modes. Dirt 5 releases for PS4, Xbox One, and PC on November 6, with next-gen console releases at launch. Need for Speed Hot Pursuit Remastered Ten years after its initial release, the Criterion Classic is getting a remaster. This release features cross-platform multiplayer, additional DLC included, enhanced graphics, updated modes, quality of life updates, and all the cops and racers action you're used to. Need for Speed Hot Pursuit Remastered races onto PS4, Xbox One, and PC on November 6th, following on Switch on November 13th. Super Liminal. This mind-bending puzzle game is finally making its way to Steam. With additional features and modes, developer commentary, and Steam Workshop support, fans of puzzle games like Portal or The Stanley Parable should definitely check this one out. Super Liminal drops on November 5th for Steam with versions available on consoles already in case you missed it. Those of us patiently, or not so patiently, waiting for the release of CD Projekt Red's highly anticipated RPG Cyberpunk 2077 will have to wait a little longer. The devs announced there would be a three-week delay from the launch date of November 19th. Devs cited that although the game has already gone gold, which normally indicates the final shipped code is done, they are working to ensure that the game performs well across all the current and next-gen platforms it's launching on. Hopefully, it will all be worth the wait, and we'll just have to see on December 10th. Sony and Marvel showed off the much-anticipated Into the Spider-Verse suit for the upcoming Spider-Man Miles Morales game. Based on the acclaimed animated movie, the game developers worked with the movie's designers to not only get the half-tone look of the suit right, but also mimic the stuttered animation style and pop-up comic book effects featured in the film. The results look amazing. Pre-order Spider-Man Miles Morales for the PS4 or PS5 before November 12th to get this bonus suit.
Nintendo released its final partner showcase of 2020. Alongside information on a number of games in development for 2021, including Bravely Default 2, Story of Seasons, and Surviving the Aftermath, we also saw games coming soon like Immortals Phoenix Rising, Bakugan Champions, and Tropico 6. In a surprising twist, Hitman 3 and Control Ultimate Edition were announced for the Switch as cloud versions of the games. Control is out now, but due to the nature of the cloud version, make sure you have a decent internet connection in order to play. You can download the trial version of Control for free and purchase the access pass from inside the game for $39.99 after 5 minutes of trial play. Also showcased was No More Heroes 1 and 2, available now, and No More Heroes 3, coming in 2021. The showcase ended with the highlight of Hyrule Warriors, which releases in December. A demo is available now, with save transfers to the full game when it releases. That's all for this week. Make sure to hit subscribe for next week's video as we have dozens of new games to go along with the release of the Xbox Series X and PS5. As always, you can join us in Discord with the link in the description. I'm Dragon, and this has been your SRN Weekly Nerd News.